Hey guys, this is Hot New Peer, and in this video I'm going to be installing a brand new solid state hard drive into my computer. And I've chosen to go with the 120 gig Intel solid state drive 330. Um, the reason why I didn't go with the 530 was because it was like $80 more and performance was only 50 megabytes per second uh, faster and you know 500 is more than enough for me so yeah and uh, I don't really care too much for about that uh, extra three years warranty so this one does last a bit less not as long but by the time it dies off uh, solid state drives will hopefully be pretty dirt cheap so yeah um, the way I'm going to be installing this is I'm just going to install a fresh copy of Windows 8 onto uh, the hard drive and I'm just going to keep my old hard drives just mounted in there so I can access the files anyways um, so I'm using the Windows 7 USB slash DVD uh, download tool you guys can barely read that there to put the image on a USB stick and it's completed there so I'm just gonna go ahead here and turn off my computer <sighs> Okay. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. If not, um, you may not be able to see everything that I'm doing here. So I got my case open. Probably should open the box to see what's inside. I haven't opened it yet, so... Um, yes, hopefully I can open it with one hand. And that's the seal that I'm trying to get off, by the way. So I'll just pause this while I open the seal. Okay, that was a real pain in the ass to get the seal off. So, opening the box now. And I'm expecting that there's only a hard drive in there, so I have some things on the side to help if it's the only thing they gave. Ooh, look at that, a nice little sticker. And... There we go. It comes in a nice little static bag. It's all nice. Um, installation. Oh, yes. We do have a hard drive cradle here. And a CD, which I probably won't use. Oh, and they were nice enough to give a SATA cable. I was worried that there wouldn't be one in, and screws, very nice of them, and smaller screws. So, let's see, here is the cradle. Um, not sure how it's going to be installed, so, yeah, let's just go ahead here and open the package. Okay, I'm just going to put the camera here so you guys can see, opening the package, hopefully that's center. And out comes the hard drive. Wow. It's very light, by the way. Just, you know. And, okay. Don't know if you guys can see this, but it sort of just sits in the middle there and lines up and on the bottom you just put the screws in like this that's sort of neat okay so I've got it all screwed in next I'm just gonna take uh, one of my cradles and put it on from uh, the ones that came with my computer case I've got them just laying around here and connectors are on this side so thing doesn't like me. No. Okay, it took me a little while to figure out how to get these things connected. Uh, what I ended up doing was taking the screws that came with my computer case and attaching them here rather than using Intel's little screws because they were slightly short with the Intel ones. And the ones in my, for my case are a bit longer, so it does work out. So, And uh, I'm not using the little pin things or whatever. I'm just uh, screwing it in. 
Alrighty. I'm um, just going to untie these cables here. The saddle is. And hopefully these ones aren't uh, too cheap. They look pretty flimsy, but hopefully they're fast enough. It's decent length. That's good. Should be long enough for me. So just slide in the drive in here. I'm going to leave it up for a while so I can get the cables attached. I'm going to attach the SATA cable. This is pretty self explanatory. Okay. So SATA cables in. You want to make sure it is secure. I don't know about solid state drives, but I do know that uh, with uh, normal hard drives, if you don't have the cable in properly, you can completely destroy your hard drive. And it's like 90% chance that it happens if you turn on your computer with the cable only partially attached that your hard drive gets destroyed. Just from my experience anyways. So yeah. I guess I'll use this cable and I'm going to have to somehow uh, connect it to my SATA 3 ports. Because my motherboard has uh, two SATA 3's. But, you know, it's way down there and on a weird angle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook after I get these cables out of the way unhook the piece that you guys can't see it the white SATA cable I'm just going to move it over one okay that was a real pain in ask to connect all those SATA connectors down there I'm not sure what I'm going to do it's probably going to have be even more of a pain of an ass when I put in more hard drives in but uh, whatever so moving on um, I didn't videotape putting the power connectors in because you know that's no duh and it's pretty difficult to do with only one hand so uh, what I've done or ended up doing was because I have an older power supply with older connectors um, so if I were to connect it like with one of these things here it wouldn't make it because of just how the cradle is designed so um, thankfully they did send a little adapter here and I'm just using the 4 pin to I think like 13 pin or whatever it is uh, power connector there um, it's not as reliable but it should hopefully do you know um, yeah hoping it all works out now so I've got my you know what, I'll just leave my case open for now and um, I've got my USB stick in the back so okay I just quickly changed some of the bias settings to um, give uh, priority to the USB uh, thing and in the bus for some odd reason I think it's registering as uh, a USB hard drive or disk so okay There we go, so here's the Windows 8 installation. Took a little work to get it to boot off the USB, but whatever. Install it. And I'm probably going to have to fast forward for most of this crap. And sorry if my hand's quite shaky. I had some coffee this morning, so uh, I'm going to go with 64 bits. Windows 8 Pro 64 bits. Uh, accept. Custom. And then we have the 111 gig, and that is the solid state drive. So next, and then it is installing the files. Okay, it took a while to get the files over because the USB stick is only USB 2.0. And getting files ready for installation, so this should be more uh, based on the solid state drive and uh, the overall performance of the computer.
Okay, just finished that, and it is now past the five minute mark. Okay, so Windows 8 installed in five minutes. That's pretty good. I'm just going to start, and then it's going to continue installing a little bit more. So uh, we'll see how long that takes. Oh, how very nice. Usually what happens is it doesn't go back there and should skip. Apparently they didn't put that in the Windows 8 installer. So it is uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds at the time of starting up for the installation. And uh, hopefully it chooses the correct disk to boot off of. There we are. So this is off of the solid state drive right now. And it is getting devices ready. Getting ready. Dot dot dot. and hitting the seven minute mark minus like a minute thirty for that whole you know booting off the USB again so I'll subtract that at the end and it restarted twice or something I wasn't really paying attention and it's booting up a second time. Okay. I've got a fresh install here. I'll call this uh, something. Let's go with purple. Mm. Yeah, the darker purple's better. I'm going to use express settings. Uh, one second, I'm going to log in. Okay. And we got our little high thing. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, we're at about 8 minutes total time for installation of Windows 8 on a solid state drive. And I don't think there's much we can do about skipping through this movie crap. Um, maybe it'll let me skip, so we can't really see how uh, performance, uh, how the solid state drive is uh, doing the performance here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's done already. So uh, normally that little part takes like five, ten minutes, and that's a good sign. So I'm going to go ahead here and... Um, restart the computer or shut it down I mean so we can see exactly how long it takes to start up and it is starting up that's so 10 seconds so far that's all the motherboard there and uh, 133 is when the Windows 8 logo showed up and poof so that was about uh, 7 seconds for the Windows 8, and um, yeah, the motherboard took the majority of the time for the startup here, and uh, let's just log in, and switch over to the desktop and see how it performs, just switch hands here, so right away to the desktop and um, still starting up a little bit looks as to be done open up a task manager just to verify Oops. details disk zero so it is fully started up and all and I did not even see any loading going on 
when I switched over to the desktop. So uh, yeah, very fast startup. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, this is Hot Noob here. And you guys can come check out my blog at hotnoob.com. See you guys later.